This next example we're going to try is a binomial being crossed with a trinomial, or a binomial times a trinomial. In this case, our binomial is x plus 2, and our trinomial is 3x squared minus 4x plus 5. So we are going to have a box that is two boxes high by three boxes wide because we have a binomial times a trinomial. So on the left side of the box, we're going to put an x and a plus 2. And on the top, we're going to put a 3x squared minus a 4x then plus a 5. And then we're going to turn it into six boxes. In the top left box, we're going to cross x with 3x squared. And we get 3x to the third. In the box right next to it, we're going to cross negative 4x with x, and we get negative 4x squared. And then we're going to cross 5 with x, and we end up getting positive 5x. In the bottom left, we're going to cross 2 with 3x squared, and we get 6x squared. Then next to it, 2 times a negative 4x gives us negative 8x. And in the last box, we're going to have 2 times 5, which is positive 10. Now what we know is that the 6x squared and the negative 4x squared can be combined because they are like terms, and also the negative 8x and the positive 5x can be combined because they are also like terms. So we're going to end up with 3x to the third plus 6x squared minus 4x squared minus 8x plus 5x and plus 10. I promise it's there. So we have our like terms. three x to the third plus six minus four is two x squared and then negative eight plus five is minus three x then plus ten.